for NFL players. It's the time of year to get away and get out and hit the reset button before training camp. And for Valley native Andrews Pete, he'll be at his alma mater this weekend in Tempe. Corona del Sol hosting a youth football camp to benefit his foundation, Pete's purpose. We caught up with the New Orleans Saints offensive tackle today at his grandmother's house. Well, you see him on NFL Sundays, and you know he's a true Arizonan because Andrews Pete is back home visiting here in June. Got a football camp coming up at your high school this weekend. What's it going to be like getting back out in your hometown and, and talking a little football, teaching a little football? Yeah, uh, it's definitely exciting. Um, you know, it's actually my first camp, so uh, we're really excited to, you know, get back, like you said, to my hometown. And uh, it's actually ages 6 to 12. So, uh, you know, going to have uh, my brothers out there, some of my uh, college buddies, and uh, my dad's going to be out there. And, of course, started with your dad, Todd, with the Cardinals. And I think I've covered, uh, what are we now, like our fifth, sixth, seventh Pete playing high school football, yeah. uh, playing high school sports, trying to win state championships here in the Valley. Uh, I'm going to just say that you guys are like the first sports family of Phoenix. So what's it, what's it mean to not only be able to compete here for you in Arizona, but watch all of your siblings that, that just keep going here? Yeah, it's definitely, uh, it's definitely special that, uh, you know, we all got the opportunity to, uh, you know, play, play here in Arizona and, uh, you know, go on. A lot of us go on to college and play. So definitely, uh, you know, starts with the parents at home. My dad and mom, uh, you know, try to raise us the right way and we we saw the one more Pete you know you look and you're, you're seeing these people have success playing high school sports and you're like man this kid at Perry's pretty good yeah. you're like oh wait his last name is Pete Koa Pete of course um, now we remember I was there when you won a state championship with Corona del Sol mm -hmm. basketball one-on-one uh, -on -one right now you and Koa who wins and why oh definitely me <laughs> I definitely uh I'll take it I'll take him down on the post but uh now nah, Koa's he's he's been uh he's been doing great uh had a great Freshman year, won the state championship. Uh, Coach Dwayne, who you know, have a lot of respect for, played played with uh, played for him at Corona. So I'm excited to see Koa continue to take uh, that next step and continue his high school career. He really uh, really puts in the work to become a great player.